going, what's up? Blessed, beautiful souls. What are you doing today? Today, we are going to be talking about men's health. Um, obviously, because June is the month of men, or Father's Day, but, uh, you know, Father's Day and Mother's Day are every day. It's not just one month or one day in every month. But we are going to be doing this awesome video today for you. And this video is going to be based all upon men's health and what men need to do to upkeep their health and their well-being and their vitality. Very, very, very critical uh, information right here. So, Etan, welcome. Thank you for being here as well. Hit us with a few words, please. Absolutely grateful. Thank you, Kiara. Appreciate it. And um, yeah, to all of our uh, guests on today's video, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And um, hopefully it's going to be assisting you and other people that you know in your life for the betterment of your health. Wonderful, thank you. So welcome to the beautiful Synergy Organics community, everybody, where we serve you with great knowledge around nutrition, um, the benefits of nutrition, and of course, how to use that nutrition in the most fundamental ways in your life. And of course, women are the shoppers of the home majority of the time, and essentially women help the men in the house with the food. So what we wanna show the the channel here in the community is that women are part of men's life very much so but men are also part of women's life very much so and we're two individuals coming together in a household or in a home where hopefully you're amalgamating in such a way in that it's healthy because you're two people coming together you're not you're not one stuck person so as a man you need to take charge of your life you need to be able to bring good income into your life you need to take care of your mentality, your focus, your sharpness, your physique, your body, and all of this gives the woman beautiful energy and attraction to you, confidence, trust in you, in your ability to grow and manifest your beautiful life for you, yourself, and your family. So, Etan, bring up one topic here for us that you would like to, of course, talk about in terms of the community that may interest men and uh, especially women to, to help men in their health for the month? Well, I want to start out by saying that we talk about health as in food or exercise, just as a general topic, but it has a lot to do with mental clarity and mental health, emotional health, physical health, and of course, all around um, health in the sense of taking care of your family, and that spiritual sense that comes with it. So enjoy that smoothie as we go through this. And the first topic I wanted to chat about is sleep, rest, and our cerebral spinal fluid. Most people, especially men, they tend to find that they need to have six hours or less of sleep. It, and it does vary between person to person. But sleep is one of the most important things that you can have in terms of men's health or just general health um, for males and females. But particularly men, because they uh, hit it harder in the gym, I'm speaking generally here, they hit it harder in the gym, their physical body needs rest and recovery. So that's the cerebral spinal fluid gets activated and it goes down the spinal column and it cleanses out all the toxins and it helps release that um, that lactic acid buildup within the body and it would help dispel it in the morning um, when you excrete um, either way. So sleep, rest, recovery is of the utmost importance to me. Um, and yes, that, that will then create a domino effect going on from there. So what are the, what are the effects of sleep? So what does sleep actually do for the body? Well, Sleep, um, what it does for the body, I mean, it does many different functions, of course, rest being one of them. The melatonin that gets kicked in, the pituitary gland, so the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, they are the mass, the two master glands, particularly the pineal gland because it sits um, above the pituitary gland and that's the one that basically stimulates and controls the remainder of the hormones in the body. So, rests of course in complete darkness is vital we need to have a complete blackout uh, modality when it comes to our rest but in terms of bodily health uh, mental clarity 
Uh, rest and recovery, like I said, the lactic acid is an important aspect there. But particularly the brain getting a chance to have a reset. Um, so it's like defragging, you know, when we sleep and we go deep into the dream realm and it, it basically it's a refresh, a defrag. It's rebooting the mind particularly. And I'm talking about the pineal and pituitary gland. So they come together and they are now refreshed and they're able to handle the next best day. That's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. So guys, let us know down in the comments below what you get in terms of sleep every day. What do you believe is the most ideal amount of sleep for yourself? Um, personally, of course. And let's see if we can try and get an average here on the comments below of what you or what the community requires in terms of sleep. So Etan, obviously, Etan is, speaks about him and himself in terms of sleep as well. For me, five to six hours, I feel sharp and good. But often other people don't even sleep a lot. Etan sleeps for eight hours. Um, you know, there's some men that sleep for about 10 hours. And there's no discrimination against how many hours you sleep. But if you're sleeping two to three hours a day and you're really working, you're using your mind a lot, you will eventually find that you may burn out. And this is where we need to find that balance. Even if you're having 20, 30 minute naps two to three times a day, that is also supercharging the mental focus and clarity and activity. And if you go and look at some studies that are shown, you'll find that your neural activity and your neural functionality during uh, this 20 minute period is almost as though you're having a fundamental meditation, right? So that yeah, is a, re a reboot, like it's an insane. So some people need that. I, I sometimes do wherever I possibly can, but you know, it's very, it's, it's been very busy lately. So I just make sure I'm really getting in at least six hours of sleep lately because I do feel as though I have been working tremendously. So, so there is a lot of beautiful energy uh, from sleep and sleep is one of the most critical components because sleep is the repair uh, repair and function tool like Etan said and you need that you cannot keep the computer that you're busy watching this video on for on forever it will have to go off at some point because it needs to reboot refresh and you need to update your software so <laughs> that is you, what the body you... needs to do you brought about a specific point, meditation, medita 20 to 30 minutes of meditation is equal to two, three hours worth of sleep. It just depends on the quality and level of meditation. So meditation can serve if you're getting far less sleep uh, than the average person. A 20 to 30 minute meditation in silence is absolutely incredible. And plugging in your earphones, I would never recommend um, headless earphones because uh, that's Bluetooth and radiation, et cetera. But um, getting some theta beats in and getting binaural beats and um, solfege uh, uh, resonance frequency um, inside the body so you can get that uh, grounding back into stability. That's awesome. Incredible. That's one part. Hey, guys, while you're watching this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share our content wherever you see valuable because the beautiful... <coughs> excuse me, the beautiful women and men that watch this video, it is so important for both of us to be watching this video so that we can learn and know more about each other and therefore be able to communicate better with each other because having cell phones, having computers, excuse me, has already taken away that that person-to-person um, -person communication. And it's very fundamental that people have that. We are social beings. And that is part, an important part of men's health as well, as well as women's health. Okay. So, guys, next part, nutrition. This is my beautiful protein shake. I had an awesome uh, training session today. I did some shoulders. I did some abs and I did some cardio. And I'm feeling powerful. Again, like I did on the video for you guys with, on Synergy on the Shorts. Go check it out up here. This is 50 grams of protein, guys. I'm getting 50 grams of protein. And as a man, you, there's three different stages of protein. So you need to have about 1.6 to 1.8 grams of protein if you are a very physical person, okay? If you're not that physical, 
1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body mass. If you're not that active, which I don't suggest as a human being, you should not be not active. You should be very active, at least looping around your block at the very minimum. You need about one gram to 1.2 grams of protein. Now, for me, I'm pumping my protein. An excess of protein is also not good, okay? Because it can um, it can give start to give you uh, liver failure and kidney because the protein filters through the kidney. So too much excess protein can damage the kidney cells as well. Now, please know this: our hair, our hair, our skin, our nails, our teeth, our DNA, everything that we are physically made up of is part of the protein molecule in the body. Everything. Where does protein come from? So protein is the macro food. Macro. Okay. Uh, the macro group. Then you have your your um, your vitamins and your minerals, uh, your amino acids, excuse me, your amino acids. Then you have your vitamins and your minerals. Uh, so the vitamins and minerals uh, are your vitamins and minerals. You've got micro minerals as well, and you've got macro minerals, but then you have micro minerals and amino acids, which are broken down and collected from all kinds of different sources of food. So Etan was re Etan will talk about a little bit of um, the superfoods in a moment, where this is cacao. I'm having intelligent protein in here. It has ashwagandha. It has cacao. It has um, hemp protein. It's got coconut cream. There is a bit of mesquite coffee in here. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Lakuma. Maca. These are all absolutely powerful adaptogenic nutrients, micro minerals, um, and tissue salts that are coming from those plant sources in their quantity and their own variations. This is very powerful combinations of natural nutrition that helps to sustain and build the body, guys. I'm going to be straight up with you. I barely ever get tired, okay? I've been eating these plants for a long time. I remember what it was like eating things I didn't actually enjoy eating. So even to today, the discipline of me eating slap chips or, um, yeah, slap chips, crispy chips has minimized. I, I barely even have that anymore because the moment I eat that food, you slump, your energy slumps. Boom, you're gone. It's just too much for the body to tolerate. So having decent light food that is high in nutrition is absolutely critical. Etan, could you tell us and describe to us six or seven, six to 10 of the best vitamins, minerals, or superfoods that you would recommend for a man to use? And I will throw in three after you. Cheers, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely amazing. And you definitely um, touched on the topic of a lot of them. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen. So it's taking other minerals and it's compounding its value inside the body. So definitely ashwagandha is a nice one. Spirulina, we talked about the pineal and pituitary gland, but specifically the pineal gland. Spirulina is known to decalcify the pineal gland. Calcification comes from um, uh, uh, water and fluoride in the water but many other things, eating plastics, uh, we don't realize these things. So spirulina is definitely, definitely on the top of the list. Well, one of the top of the list um, in, in no particular order here. Iron fluorine, and you can get iron fluorine from many different sources of plants. Go and do some research on iron fluorine because iron fluorine specifically the spark of the, the body, um, and it helps ignite the remainder of magnesium, zinc, all those different the micronutrients that we you were talking about earlier, Kiara. So you just iron fluorine can come the, from... The, one part, the first part, after you said iron fluorine, sorry to interrupt you, but it cut out a little bit, and I don't think the community heard what, what that word was. So iron fluorine definitely acts as the spark of the body. So okay. it's the spark that assists everything. So when we get that spark in, it helps bring in oxygen into the system and it would help those micronutrients you covered earlier, magnesium, zinc, all of those different nutrients, and it'll help compound the effect similar to what ashwagandha does to the body. But iron fluorine comes in 
um, and many different plants. So you could source them from there, but a list would be elderberry, blue vein, yellow dock, burdock, uh, roots. Um, yeah, those, those are just generally speaking, one of the other things that I found is stinging nettle. Stinging nettle has a lot of iron fluorine in it. And I'm talking about iron. Iron, iron as opposed to copper, iron is specifically related to the male hormone, the masculine principle within the body. And that masculine principle is driving the body going forward. So we all have masculine and feminine. Um, comparatively speaking, copper is the feminine aspect within the body and the bloodstream. But iron specifically draws in oxygen into the body. So you were talking about fast foods earlier. Um, you feel that slump, there's a lack of oxygen going inside the body when we have all of these fast foods and what have you. So is stinging nettle, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. overeating and all the rest. Stinging nettle comes in the herb form, it comes in the root form, and it comes in the seed form. Now, in the seed form, it's specifically relating to the male seed, regenerative seed over there, but the base chakra as what we will call it. And this is helping the stability and the foundation of the body even more so. So I recommend it for building iron in the bloodstream, building the blood, and of course, getting in more oxygen into the system. But it's acting as an anti-inflammatory within the body and the bloodstream. So when we're dealing with ailments and what have you, there's specifically... With cancer patients, there's a lack of oxygen inside the body. And we want to get oxygen into the system. Iron specifically helps with that. So stinging nettle is incredible. Now, now that helps with blood circulation. I want to say that cacao, you're busy drinking cacao there. Cacao relates to the heart chakra. Um, also, is cinnamon. Cinnamon is a blood stimulant. But cacao powder, cinnamon, and I'd say, Hey, St. John's wort is a fantastic, fantastic one. St. John's wort is specifically related to the soul of our body. And the soul resides within the heart and the heart chakra. And we want to get that circulation of the bloodstream going, cleanse out the blood and what have you through the valve, which is the heart. Um, it's not a pump. It's a valve. And we basically want to get that strength of that stimulus within the heart and the circulatory system. So along with that, we have um, uh, dandelion um, flowers, particularly, but dandelion in, in general helps build healthy cells within the heart. So that to me is very important, along with cacao. The first time I experienced cacao, I ate three cacao nibs, absolutely tasty, very bitter though. And I felt this rush of a surge of energy and I felt this heart happiness like I was experiencing an immense amount of love. So there's things like cacao ceremonies, people just specifically pay attention to that one in the plant kingdom. So yeah. that's very nice. Um, fennel and mullein, yes. I love what you said there, cacao ceremonies. Guys, let us know in the comments below if you as a man, as a male, would like us to arrange a cacao ceremony and a gathering where we have men dancing around a fire, drinking delicious cacao, meditating, stomping your feet in the sand. Let us know if that is something that you would like to arrange if you're here in South Africa. Let us know if you want us to arrange something like that for the community and experience what cacao can actually do for you because cacao is a natural stimulant as well and it awakens the body. Now, cacao is a female plant um, and she's ruled by a, a female goddess and her energy is very, very powerful, especially for women, but cacao should be used in a very specific and special way. Now, a lot of benefits come from cacao like etan just mentioned in there so etan carry on with your list please uh and first of and next question what would your one if you had to just choose one what would your one be? one nutrient yeah that's a very good it's well uh nutrients or yeah you, you get um 
multi minerals, if I could put it that way, but that's the mainstream word for it. Things like spirulina and moringa powder are very nutrient dense. I don't want to sway the conversation um, or, or the comments of your one, but certainly uh, those, you know, we want to get as diverse a range of that as possible. So spirulina, that's why it was uh, one of the top nutrients um, for me. So that's that's definitely my answer. Cool. Um, I, I wanted to mention jasmine. Jasmine tea as well also stimulates that heart. Uh, center but it gets the energy flowing in the body so men that are lacking that things like green tea and jasmine tea can work and stinging nettle can work at increasing the levels of the body um yeah that's that's a big thing but where i was was mullein tea and fennel fennel i i remember the first time i experienced fennel um those two mullein and fennel are, they're very complementary for the lungs and the heart which means that they're bringing in more oxygen into the bloodstream now, remember, iron and oxygen, iron sparks that oxygen and it brings more into the system. So, yeah, that can work very nicely. And then, Chiara, you mentioned maca and lacuma, but specifically maca for sexual hormones and um, that sexual um, health that, that men so desire there. So, that's, um, I can get onto a whole lot of different topics, but that certainly is it. That's and in ending, I want to say to you that Synergy Organics focus on um, the quality of nutrients over the quantity of nutrients. So people think that you have to eat a lot in order to gain your muscle mass, but actually you need the quality. Amino acids, and Kiara, you picked it up earlier, amino acids, but protein as a whole can become highly toxic for the system if eaten in excess quantity. Now, there's a very big difference there in, in the primary source of protein, which comes from fruits and vegetables, without a doubt. And I'm not talking tomatoes and lettuce. I'm talking these nutrient-dense superfoods that you can find all over the world. There's over 115,000 types of species that humankind can eat that is, is, um, sorry, that, that's available, over 20,000 types that humans can uh, consume. So there's a wide array of it. Don't just think of it as lettuce and tomato and a salad that you're getting your nutrients from, okay? Hemp hearts are known as a complete protein. So go out and get your hemp protein, go out and get your hemp seeds, and you can add it to your smoothies, add it to all different types of foods that you can eat over there. It's a very important thing. But um, yeah, amino acids are very important for the system. 100 percent thank you, you for sharing talk that talk about a lot yeah there's so there's so. always so much to talk about in in health and in men's health i mean so guys so that you guys know what we're going to be doing is on a monthly basis you will be getting a video just like this that will be related to a specific topic every single month um so please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because that is going to notify you when these videos are released they will be scheduled for you um, and then between Etan, myself, and our ambassadors, community, um, affiliates, uh, if guys, by the way, if you want to become an affiliate, go over and check our link down below so that you can sign up using our affiliate code, which will get you 20% back on your product when you share your link with other people. Okay, so make sure to hit that link down there right now. And of course, if you want to become an affiliate, you will be screened to become an affiliate. We won't just take anybody. It is a limited, um, it is a limited availability. We do screen you. So we see that it is uh, certainly highly beneficial to both of us. So please keep that uh, in mind when you go and do that link, use that link down below to sign up. In the meantime, we are super excited. Um, and you guys, all of you, you just need to recognize that the one thing that is so important is your your nutrition but there's a multitude you're not just about nutrition right so it's untouched on it superfoods are very very nutrient dense so you need smaller quantities to get bigger results than having gigantic portions of meals for me personally i like to carb cycle so i don't actually eat carbs every day i don't like eating carbs every day because i feel carbs make me sluggish and slow may not do that for etan or for other people but this is just an example of how to treat yourself and if you guys want to learn how to eat healthy and know exactly what to eat to put in your body 
we have designed a very, very, very beautiful set of meal plans, classic meal plan, vegetarian meal plan, a plant-based meal plan. And they're all down here in the link below. Go and click those there if you want to sign up to our meal plan. They are very affordable. They're yours for life. And there is so much information that you can use in those emails, uh, in those meal plans to actually detox the body, reset the body, get the body back in shape, eat the right foods, get the right nutrients into the body, and make sure that you are a high-functioning, optimal human being because that was exactly what you were meant to have here when you got birthed onto this earth is you were meant to become an optimal human being. So go check out all of those links down below. That would be wonderful. Please remember like, subscribe, and share the content on the channel. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so once again, thank you all very much for being here on the channel. Really appreciate you all. And Etan is about to tell us how important it is for all of you men especially the young men, to no fat, no fat, no fat. Just make love, no fat. Etan, tell us a little bit about no fapping and how important the cerebral fluid is. Yeah, well, actually, I want to start with that uh, sacral seminal uh, fluid uh, we call sperm. And um, it's actually known as the little death. Every time a man releases <laughs> uh, when doing sexual intercourse, they are actually um, killing themselves. They're releasing their literal brain fluid. Now, it goes a lot more complex than this, and I'll touch into fasting and why, why it is I fast once a month, which I'm actually coming to tomorrow. But um, there's a divine germ that's stimulated once a month when the moon is in our sun sign, so I'm a Capricorn, so the moon's about to move into Capricorn, and it's going to stimulate within all Capricorns, a psychophysical germ. Actually, here, um, our cerebral spinal fluid gets stimulated. They are on, are in the cerebellum, and it then, that special fluid touches the pineal gland, and then it goes, it as a positive charge, then it flows down into the pituitary gland, touches that, and that's um, Joseph and Mary, if we could put it that way. And it travels via the vagus nerve down to the 12 nerve ganglion within our gut. Now, doctors always say that gut mind connection is of the utmost importance, but they spend less than a day over their whole practice covering nutrition. And that's why there's people like you and I that exist to help people get a better quality of nutrients inside their system. So very grateful for that. So there's a psychophysical germ that's born up top here, travels down. And what we do is we do um, sacral meditations where we uh, pump this um, up, back up our spinal column uh, during breathing meditation, uh, breathing exercises. And we pump this because the when we breathe, actually, that's the way that the bloodstream comes back about our body. Our sacrum, so our sacral bone, um, holds uh, five holes, and this is pumping fluid back up the cerebral spinal fluid and, of course, the bloodstream and what have you. And it lays dormant, like a cavity inside of our brain, and three days later, it awakens. And that awakening is basically... Uh, stimulical bone as pumps it pumps up the, uh, the bloodstream to the uh, rest of the body from the legs and what have you and it reaches a cavity inside the brain where it lays dormant for three days and after three days it bursts and it touches the optic thalamus and it's what we call the light of egypt and this awakens dormant brain cells and it illuminates us and it helps us become more conscious and more aware so this is a sacred seminal fluid that we should be retaining and you'll go do some re research on it but seminal retention is very important particularly for men um as i said earlier it's the little it's known as the little death so every time we release we're actually releasing our brain fluid literally our brain fluid so we need this because we get aged you know every time we release it um it depletes our body's energy and but in a subtle sense. That's obviously because there's a whole bunch of 
protein, vitamins, minerals, nutrition that are in that and DNA, of course. And that is life force that creates a baby. So that with a woman's egg creates a baby. So it's life force, right? So essentially that life force is keeping when it's inside you, it should only be used to create a baby. Okay. Really essentially. Um, but there is a lot of fundamental nutrition in that, um, in your sperm. And that is very important for the man to keep his high energy, his longevity, reduce his aging and keep his body physically strong, low inflamed, uh, low inflammation and powerful because it also gives you confidence. It also brings about the power and the energy within you. So continue, Etan, please. No, definitely. I mean, uh, you touched on a lot of those topics. And one thing, um, you know, we want to cover here today as well as discipline and routine. And that comes with discipline is being able to abstain from, excuse me, beating your meat every so often. No fat. You know, just to get pleasure. Yeah, just to get temporary pleasure. So one of the key traits of um, masculine energy is to abstain and abstain as much and as often as possible in many different types of things. And we're in a society where we get instant gratification. Instant gratification is everywhere. And it's rampant. You know, yeah. when you go to the gym and you exercise, you don't expect your body to be um, this muscle mania and, um, you know, a, an Olympic type of body within the first week of exercising. You know that it takes dedication, commitment. So when it comes to abstaining from that, it's of the utmost importance because that's the base desire, sexuality. And when we... When we give in to that desire, the rest of our desires are, are very easy to influence. Very easy to influence. So, yeah, just wanted to touch on that. And I'm sure we can go on to a lot more topics um, about semen retention, about fasting, um, and about discipline. But for yeah, sure. That's what I wanted to share. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, you know, there comes a time in a person's life where there's no more sugar coating, where you actually have to, there's a cliche saying, man up, okay? And there comes a moment in your life where you really have a critical point where you as a man have to change your life. And if you don't change your life, your life won't be the life you thought it would be or you would desire it to be. And this is the thing, is that you need to take charge and you need to take discipline and control with flow through your life. What does this mean? So I don't want to discriminate in any way. And, and there's no judgment here. But if your body is overweight and it's floppy and it's there's no there's there's just so much estrogen oozing through your body with the excess weight, your body is slumped, you're tired, you you just the physical structure of you is weak, okay, all around. Not only the physical structure, but your emotions become weak. You become um, in turmoil because you as a man can't function well. And as a man, you, you the man is supposed to function well. He's supposed to be athletic, fit, be able to like defend himself and his family. The man is supposed to have these strength, these, this focus, this clarity, this drive. And the woman is a contributor to that through the way that she loves and cares for the man as well. But the man in himself, just like women have their own things that they have to do, a man has to take charge of his life. He has to go to the gym. He has to lose weight. He has to do this stuff in order to be a stronger, more resilient person in their life. So it's not about discrimination more than anything. What it is actually about is, is taking self-discipline. Like Etan said, you get up on time. You do what you say you're going to do. Because if you don't, the only person you're disappointing is yourself. And the more you disappoint yourself, the more others will see that disappointment in you. Okay, And they will, might feel those feelings, even though it's not their stuff. It's your stuff. You have to fight that discipline. And you have to do whatever it takes to make yourself a better, stronger, more resilient man. 
You have to take charge of your life. Okay. We're not here to dictate things to you. We're here sharing what society actually needs. It has been far too easy for men to get overweight, to lose themselves in food, to be whimperish, emotional, um, all kinds of things where men actually are very dominating species, okay? The animalistic, like Etan said, through the mudubla ablam gata, okay? That brings out the animalistic. I don't know if, what was that movie, Etan? Um, um, with Adam Sandler? It was Adam Sandler where he, and the crocodile where he mentions the mudubla ablam gata. Anyways, so I uh, thought yeah, that, yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, that was a perfect concept of him. He That was a resemblance. He had, from being a whimperish, looked after man, grown up man, he literally had to take charge of his life. He got a beautiful woman. He got a great job. He was incredible. And he became love because he took charge of his own life, his own self. And without doing that, how can you expect others to treat you with respect and kindness and love and the care that you deserve if you're not in yourself the man you want to be, that you desire to be? Instead of looking outside there where other men are doing it, use that as your own motivation to find the way to do your own way, to make your own set of rules in your life to make you a better, stronger man. Etan, what? else have you got for us in terms of a tip for um, men's health for this month of june guys just quickly we are recording this video on the 4th of june um currently 11 30 a.m you will see this video probably by tomorrow um by tomorrow um or even maybe by a little bit later today so you're watching this content live pretty much it's pretty much in focus i'm just going to edit the video and take some cuts out so, Etan, let us know what you think. Yeah, uh, well, one thing is, I mean, we talked about disciplines and what have you. The one thing is also mental disciplines, like reading, researching, learning, you know, staying consistent with that. I believe that that keeps a mind mentally fit. If your mind can keep mentally fit and you can do positive affirmations and things like this, it's going to certainly assist you in your exercise, discipline, and your eating disciplines and all the rest. Um, with having said that, just a random tip, as you said, um, just a just a posture. You know, clasp your hands like this on the back of your head. Open up your shoulders and your chest, and this helps to increase the testosterone. If you do this for a minute to two, it's going to help increase the testosterone within your body and bloodstream over 120 percent. So it really is beneficial, especially for males. And you can feel that blood flow going down the system. Absolutely. And that's just one tip. Um, you know, just another tip as in, this is a very male-directed uh, mudra, as I call it. But it, to put those fingers together is causing action. It's causing mental focus. These fingers are there to assist in connecting both hemispheres of the brain because this is a outer representation of that. But so hand postures, um, different kinds of postures, like having your hands on your hips, like Superman and keeping that posture up, that helps increase confidence levels and so much more. So just random little tips like that as we go along. But um, I actually wanted to loop back to uh, healthy foods and unhealthy foods, um, mucus producing foods. There's all different types. Soy being one of them, you know, we... As plant-based beings, you know, that word vegan, you know, people think that um, we're eating soy all the time and all the rest. We're getting so many diverse bits of food inside of our system, especially superfoods. But soy is estrogen producing, especially the GMO part of that. You know, things like gluten, if you hear that word glue, glue uh, gluing a ton to you, and, you know, that's congesting your system in so many different ways. Dairy products have so much estrogen in them simply because those cows are being fed hormones and those hormones go into the milk, into the cheese, into the all different types of products. And that's estrogen producing. That's just a massive part of our food industry. Now, I'll take it a step further and go, okay, 
females by the medical industry have been given this opportunity to um, have uh, birth control. Now, this birth control pill is high in estrogen uh, producing. And when, when females actually uh, urinate inside of our filtration systems, in our water systems, governmental water systems, it doesn't and it cannot get rid of that estrogen. So females, when they urinate, you know, we getting that back in when we shower, when we bath, um, and we splash our face. So, you know, that's just a couple of topics in which we can say, my gosh, we are being feminized. You know, not only that, the stuff that we watch nowadays, um, you know, there's a far more feminine approach to the masculine figure within, you know, uh, um, what it is that we're watching and the females saving the male. So just be aware of things like this that come into play. You know, this is mental focus that we're talking about. This is research. This is reading. And you could definitely get into the fact that um, the masculine energy is, for the larger part, being suppressed in many different ways. And there's there's reasons that, for this. I don't want to get into the topic right now. But for the most part, we just need to pay attention to our disciplines. Motivation is temporary, but discipline is permanent and if you stay consistent and disciplined i mean there's a saying you know do what is easy now and your life will be hard but if you do what is hard now your life will be easy okay so do the hard things today and that comes with that sense of discipline so yes um you know when we talk about foods being disciplined in the sense of not eating the fast foods because there's literally no nutrition in that. It's just filling a void inside your system. It's tricking your mind into thinking that you're having um, a, a fulfilling meal, but you soon find that you're hungry. And the reason for that is because your brain and body is seeking the nutrients. Therefore it's triggering you that hunger stimulant inside of you to say, Hey, go out and get me some more. And this is this perpetual cycle that um, people find themselves in and they end up getting overweight and excess mucus inside the system and then having healthy pro um, unhealthy issues. Um, yeah, dis-ease, dis-ease of the body. So there's, there's many other things that we can get um, into. Um, the stay away from list I've, I've covered there as well, but yeah, for the most part, there's a lot more that we can discuss. I know this has been a lovely conversation with you today, Kiara, and with the community. I trust the fact that you've learned so much from us and that you can add value. Comment, comment below. Yes, as Kiara's um, so enthusiastically portraying. You know, comment below, you know, if there's any tips that you could share with the community in the comments below, that would also be fantastic. Just keep on adding to this content. That will be great. So, yeah, from my part, I appreciate you being here, committing to yourself. From Synergy's part, we're always very grateful for having um, you stay disciplined and committed to your nutrition, your body's awareness. And, um, yeah, Kiara, from your part, Thank you very much. So just before we go, we we have two protein shakes on our website. One is Intelligent Protein, the one that I smashed back. The other is the Pumpkin Pie Protein. Pumpkin Pie Protein is very, very high in zinc. Um, and it is very, very good for men's prostate health. Okay, And men should be getting a good amount of zinc in every single day. Now, those two shakes we recommend to you because not only is it going to build blood, give longevity, build some good quality lean muscle mass if you are exercising and training like a beast. Um, we definitely recommend a, a lot of functional training. So we follow functional nutrition. We follow functional medicine. We follow functional training. And why? Because the, the, the prefix to the word is functional. It's functional because it functions in the correct manner that the body is supposed to be functioning in. So you don't want to work against all of the resistances that we've been shown out there um, through the eyes of marketing. What you want to do is you want to look at how did the ancients do it and how did the ancients stay, live for long, stay healthy. Some were giants uh, and some were just insanely ripped and lean, especially the men that were always lean. Look at the men from the movie 300, okay? All of them had shredded cheddar six pack abs. And this is the thing is that that's how men are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be 
these lazy, you know, individuals that just do nothing and eat chips out of a modern day packet, you know, like get yourself together. That is what you're supposed to be doing. We hope that this video has been extraordinarily motivational for you. Um, we are here in support for you. If you guys have any questions, our website links down below. The, the links to the two protein shakes are down below and the links to the meal plan is down below. I'll leave them for you there. Make sure to go and look at them and just see the information at the very, very least. Know what it is you need to do in your life to make your life better. Discipline is the consistency that will carry you through this life. Make sure that you continue to find that inner discipline in yourself. Thank you for being here on the channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video wherever you find it possible to your clan of mates. Let us know if you want us to do a cacao ceremony for you one day in the future. Thank you, Etan, for being here and sharing your wisdom and your knowledge on this series. And uh, guys, hit that notification bell because we will continuously do more videos like this for you. Okay, but subscribe to the channel because we are going to be pumping content out there for you. Etan, thank you. Any last words for the community? We love you all. I must say, keep your body healthy. Um, again, that discipline, definitely grateful for that energy and effort. And if you have any specific questions uh, that you want to ask around nutrition, about healthy living, health and wellness, and all the rest, please inbox us. Um, send us an email at info at sunatureorganics.com if you're wanting to change the dynamic of your life. So appreciate your time, energy, love, effort. Awesome, Piora. Stay amazing, abundant, and blessed. Hold God, up. Do it. Thank you. I had one thing I didn't let you guys know, which was my favorite nutrient. My favorite nutrient would be sea moss. Sea moss yes. full of minerals. Full of minerals. Definitely. Potassium, iron, like Etan said. Love you all. Take care and have a beautiful day. Love you. Amazing.